Welcome to Off Meta Analysis, where I take new ideas that aren't currently being used in the meta and analyze their potential, featuring Dorico. Now, when you think of Dorigo, you think of a support lumion, right? Well, I've got other plans for it. So this is the set I'm running, Pure Nimble, Dark Essence, Secret Ability, but its moves are Slapdown, Primal Slash, Baffle, and Bulk Up. Why not Poison Barbs? Well, honestly, I have no clue, but this is what won me a UU tournament, also known as Underused Tournament. Shout out to WarmConnell007 for hosting the tournament and giving me the prize, which is Gamma Gumpod. And I highly recommend that you guys watch his videos. He's a very underrated YouTuber. Anyways, the set that I'm running has these TPs. 200 melee attack to maximize attack, 200 speed to maximize speed, 32 range defense to make sure that Protagon does not boost its range attack. And the leftover TPs are 64 health and 4 energy. Now, I wasn't really sure what to focus this off-meta analysis around, but I just chose to do Dorigo. Um, originally, I was going to plan on doing this, LA Guana. Well, not really LA Guana, but its ability, Radiance. But I thought that would take too much time. But I'm definitely going to cover this in the next off-meta analysis, so you can look forward to that. However, I'm not going to be going to the specifics of that. I'm mostly just going to talk about this team, which is the team that I use for the UU tournament. I've got Terrafly to remove poison barbs and set up barbs itself. I've got Himber to set up icicle traps and just be an offensive threat. I've got Chartiki to check Himber and also remove icicle traps. So this is basically just making sure that Himber doesn't go stupid. Um, I've got Nimare, which is a range sweeper. I've got Borak, which is a melee wall breaker. And I've got Ili Guana, which is my range pivot. Or like it, what it does, it's basically soak range hits and pivot out to something else. Like uh, I mostly pivot out into Nimare, I would say. Um, but I sometimes go to other Lumions. The star of this show, however, is Dorigo. Bulk up Dorigo to be specific. And this thing is the best tank, I'm telling you. Bulk up, it let it live like three ice hammers and a quick punch from an offensive Himber. Like, what? Dude, this is the best melee tank. And the, the funny part is that this ability surrogate i didn't remember to make use of it throughout the whole entire tournament it's like every single round i would get like the worst abilities i got like radiance dorago and it doesn't have any light moves um during the last round against corrupted um corrupted as in corrupted days and i highly recommend you check out his channel too he's also a very underrated youtuber but yeah i got boast on dorigo and i just <laughs> it lowered its melee attack and i just could not make use of it at all the idea was that i sack himper and so then i would get awakening onto dorigo making Slapdown and Primal Slash hit harder, and even harder once I set up some bulk ups. And that was the idea, like I would just start sweeping, but then it just tanks three Ice Hammers and a quick Punch from Ember, like a door glow. like what, what is, what's its base defense? 72 and 66 health. And this thing straight up tanks Ember, what? Anyways, um. So yeah, this is what won me the UU tournament. Like, it it was against Corrupted, and he had a very brawny Tatab, I want to say, and I had a Namari left, which could have easily died to a quick pounce from Borak. But this thing was an MVP. It outsped and slapped down Tatab despite the melee attack decrease. 
um but yeah like this was all i wanted to cover for this video um you guys should try it out like bulk up door codes new meta and honestly surrogate in itself is just such a fun ability like you could do so many things with it like you have total eclipse onto dorgo so that's immune to light types rather than being four times weak to it you could have uh heavy fists onto it i really like having heavy fists onto it um i think someone in the uh, warm condos discord mentioned something about someone using specialization dorgo with like slapdown dark essence i think that's really fun too but yeah like um i feel like uh if you weren't doing UU, some a potential teammates that would uh, be like better than these UU Lumians. I would say like um, probably like better hazards removal. Like Terrafly is just it's too like its speed tier is very mediocre, um, and its defenses are also not too great. So I would probably change that. Um, I would also probably um, change the Chartiki like. Uh, probably use like a better melee defense tank el iguana definitely it needs to be changed this is just like a meme set that i wanted to use um borak i guess you could change that too like you could have a mutagon which is a much better wall breaker in my opinion and it also hands down heavy fists onto dorigo um namare i would switch it out for probably like to clips or something um but yeah like use the best tank in the game if you enjoy the video be sure to like subscribe it really really helps me out like like really <laughs> i'm dying inside